Hello, welcome back. Today, I have a red sweater in front of me, plain red sweater, ta-da. And I'm gonna make the Art Attack sweater. I'm so excited for your reference. This is what it looks like. There's episodes of Art Attack on YouTube. If you were not a child who watched Art Attack, I'm sorry, I'm sorry for you. It was, I mean, one of my favorite shows as a child. The host, I think the like, there were multiple hosts, but like the truest host was Neil, I believe his name was. It was just simply incredible. It was so good. He would do like really big projects. He would take a bunch of containers of salt and make like a huge portrait of something with salt. And then he would do like small, really attainable crafts. And so I wanna make an art attack sweater because as a child, I always wanted to do every art attack that he did, but I didn't because of like X, Y, Z, whatever reasons. But now literally all I have is time. So I'm going to try to do a lot of them, but I must be wearing an art attack sweater as I try to do these things. I am setting myself up to be so sweaty all the time, but I'm willing to sacrifice that for just the the amazing look of the Art Attack sweater. So I have my sweater here. I put some chalk marks on, you can kind of see it looks like deodorant, uh, the general area where I want it to go. I have some paint brushes. I have a plate for my palette and I have paint. Just primary yellow, primary blue, primary red. They knew what they were doing. There were creative geniuses making these outfits for Art Attack. I'm gonna start by sketching it out with a piece of chalk and I'm gonna change the camera so you can see. Okay, here we go. So we want R in the middle. And the, the lines on the R kind of stick out longer than the vertical line. That looks about right. And then there's the T. I do need some space because these letters are quite chunky. And the T's like on a bit of an angle. The A and the R are pretty upright. That looks a little far over. No, that's actually probably good. This T needs to be a little farther over. Okay, and then we have our big blue circle. Okay, so then we have our big blue circle down here. We should be able to fit attack. Art attack. This is an art attack. Okay, and then it's just lines around the side, which I think I don't really need like a map for. So I'm gonna start with the blue because that's the background here and then everything else is yellow. So that'll be easy if I start with the blue, let it dry, and then we move on to yellow. Ta-da, got some blue paint for myself. And we're gonna paint a circle. I'm kind of interested in this fabric paint because it really like promoted itself as being so soft and not cracking, like fabric paint so often does. It cracks and shows its age. Oh, wow, that does seem soft. Whoa, this is really sinking in. Hmm, I might put something. Yeah, I'm gonna go get a piece of cardboard or paper to put underneath. Actually, I have some cardstock right here. So I'm just gonna pop that underneath so that it doesn't transfer to the other side or bleed through. This is an art attack. Oh, this is gonna use a lot of paint. So I'm really just slapping this blue paint on, not being particularly precious about it. 
because I think that's kind of like the energy of the shirt. It's very like, look, a craft, we did an art attack, cool. And not like a perfectly made sweater. Okay, this is going to take a lot of paint. That is like against everything I've ever been taught about art, just squirting it right on the canvas, but I'm looking for speed here. But one of the reasons why I wanted to start doing this was because, you know, um, if you're in Ontario, you understand that uh, COVID life right now is not particularly hopeful. In fact, it's maybe the worst it's ever been in the entirety of the pandemic. Meanwhile, people in other parts of the world are all getting vaccinated and like getting ready to have the summer of their lives and we're like, you know, locking up, shutting down, etc. So that feels pretty terrible. Um, and something that happens in your late 20s, early 30s is that all of your friends and family start having children and obviously it is so fun to spend time with them, but um, I cannot spend time with a lot of the children in my life right now. And that's really frustrating because I want them to all love me forever. I was thinking a way that I could connect with all of my real and faux nieces and nephews uh, is by making YouTube videos because kids love watching YouTube videos and uh, I can do some crafts so they can follow along with me if they want or just watch the videos. Um, I mean, a lot of the babies in my life are, are just that, they're babies, they're young. So I don't know if they'll be able to do a lot of these, but hopefully the parents will know, the parents will be able to deduce what's possible and what's not. And uh, I'll be here to share my craft talents. I don't know if I should say this out loud. What I ideally will be doing is making an art attack craft to follow along with once a week. Um, but please, good Lord, don't hold me to that because maybe it won't work out. But yeah, I'm looking to become, you know, the next uh, Neil, the next Mr. Dress Up, the next Mr. Rogers, will that actually become like a reality? No, but will I do it for my nieces and nephews and friends, kids, AKA nieces and nephews? Yeah, hell yeah. <laughs> will I say hell yeah in those videos that I make for the kids? No, I will not. Okay, so blue's done. I'll be back to do yellow, which is the much trickier part when that's dry. So I just read the directions on the paint and it says allow 48 to 72 hours to dry. So because I'm painting right on top of the blue with yellow, I'm actually gonna listen to that annoyingly. So I'll see you in two days. I'm back. So the piece of paper was definitely necessary because it absolutely bled through. So I'm gonna keep that in there. It's been a couple of days, which is good because this is all dry now. And we're going to get to the yellow parts. I'm a bit nervous that the yellow is not gonna show up on this blue as well. It kind of looks like it's still wet. I don't know if you can tell, but it's not wet. But I'm gonna start with the letters up here. So it's yellow on the outside and then there's like a line of red through it. So I think I'm going to just make some bubble letters and leave lots of space for the line of red, just so I have a rough outline of what I'm going to be working with. This will need a million layers. I'm leaving a space there because this line kind of goes through this way and I don't know how far. And I want to make sure that I give myself space. I'm going to do the same thing with these two lines on the R. Okay, so now I'm going to fill things in a bit. 
And so basically the line through all the letters that's red kind of just looks like someone did yellow bubble letters and then painted thin letters right over top. But I didn't want to buy red paint because I have a red sweater right here. I just have to make sure I don't mess this up because if I do, it's hard to fix. So yeah, this is the general, ah! I got a little yellow on my hand. This is the general effect that I'm going for. It's not quite right yet, but it's close. So yeah, you can see it looks like a bubble letter A and then thin A in the middle of the bubble letter. Okay, I mean, obviously that's gonna need a lot more coats, but I think that's like a pretty good start. I'm not mad about that. Let's move on to attack. And this font is much more straightforward, kind of like a little bit jaggedy sharp to indicate attacking. <laughs> and then two T's written in such a way that it looks like they Forgot there's two T's in attack. Okay, it should be a lot further over at this point. So let's do A, T, T, A. Okay, again, this should be further over. So let's do T and then A, big C. Wild looking K. So I just have to make sure I ignore the, the mistakes and paint on what I actually want to paint on. Oh, that looks pretty good over the blue. It actually shows up. That's good. That looks awesome! The last part is there are these like accent lines, accentuation lines all around. So I'm just going to roughly draw those and not really think too hard about it. This looks awesome. I'm so thrilled with how this turned out. It's definitely gonna need a couple more coats. I'm just like slapping some more paint on in areas that look like it really needs it, just to use up what I have out. But I think I'm gonna let that dry and then uh, put more on later. Once it's a little bit dry, I probably won't wait a full 48 to 72 hours. I'll probably just wait like a couple of hours and then add some more. But I don't think you need to see that. So I'll just show you the finished product. Oh my God. I can't believe I'm the new host of Art Attack. It's done. Look at how good it looks. It's way too big. Like I'm pretty sure the original logo was basically just contained in like the area of like half the A, the R, and the T. So it's ginormous, but I like it. It also could use another coat, but I think it kind of looks like arty, unfinished, cute. So that's it. I'm gonna be doing Art Attacks, wearing my Art Attack sweater. So stay tuned for that. Okay, bye.